hello and welcome to my channel today's video we are going to be making this little hippo um, it is what I consider no so body which means we'll be making the legs and arms um, and then we will be attaching them as we go through the head down to the body so it is all one piece until we have to sew on the muzzle and the two ears and then if you want to embroider little eyebrows or add a little bow for this video i will be using a number four medium weight yarn a 4.25 millimeter hook and 14 millimeter safety eyes this is a crochet along so I will be doing every stitch with you and I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoy this video or any of my others, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, we are gonna begin with the arms and the legs, which are gonna be exactly the same, except for the last row, we're gonna add a couple extra stitches to the arms. And you can begin any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And I will be starting with a knot with a loop on the end, as if I was going to be making a chain. And I'm gonna insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one remember that does not count as a stitch that just attaches our yarn to our loop and for row one we're going to do six single crochets into the loop we're going over top of our tail so one two three four, five, six, and then pull your tail to close that hole if you need to. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase, one and two in the same stitch. Increase, three and four in the same stitch. Increase, five and six in the same stitch. Increase, seven and eight in the same stitch. Increase, 9 and 10 in the same stitch and our last increase 11 and 12 in the same stitch row three we are going to be doing one single crochet one increase repeating that pattern all the way around for a total of 18. so single crochet for one increase for two and three and then just repeat that all the way around four increase five and six seven increase eight and nine ten increase 11 and 12 13 
increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen and sixteen, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are gonna do the toes, and we're gonna begin with eight single crochets, then we're going to do what I call a double crochet cluster of four, then a single crochet, and we're going to repeat that four times, and then we're going to do eight single crochets to finish off the row. And I will put that across the top there, so um, if you need to have a peek up there, you can. So eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do our double crochet cluster of four. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab our yarn, pull up, grab our yarn again, and go through the first two loops on the hook. So that's one, do that again in the same stitch, yarn over, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn, and go through those first two loops on the hook. That's twice. You yarn over, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, grab your yarn, and go through the first two loops on your hook. That's one, two, three times. So we got one more to do, yarn over, in that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up. Grab your yarn and go through the first two loops. So you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. And then grab your yarn again and go through all five of those loops. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna do one single crochet. And you may have to push that out and um, pull your yarn to tighten that up. So that's once, we have to do that four times. So again, yarn over, that's once, yarn over, that's twice, yarn over, that's three times, yarn over, that's four times. And now we grab our yarn and go through all five of those loops. And then a single crochet. So we've done that twice now. Two more times, yarn over, and in that same stitch, do your cluster once, twice, three times, four times. Then go through all five loops and do your single crochet in the next stitch. So we've done three, we need to do that one more time. Once, twice, three, and four, all in that same stitch, and then go through all five loops, and one single crochet in the next stitch. So 
And now we should have, we have our four, four toes and now we should have eight single crochets left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And push those toes out if you need to. Row six, we are just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and our last stitch, 24. Row seven, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 20. One, two, three, four, and a decrease, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease. Four fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and our last decrease four twenty. Row eight, we are just going to do twenty single crochets all the way around. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Row 9, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 16. 1, 2, 3, and a decrease for 4, 5, 6, Seven 
and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and our last decrease for 16. Row 10, we are just going to be doing 16 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Row 11, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and our last decrease for twelve. Rows twelve to eighteen is just going to be twelve single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's seven rows. Seven times 12 is 84. So I'm going to do 84 single crochets and flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then flip my marker, but keep on counting. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 
46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So if you are doing the first two legs, um, you're going to stop here because we want our feet, our toes facing up when we fold it in half and close it. And if you're doing the two arms, we are going to do four more single crochets into the next row. So one, two, three, and four. And then, so when we do the arms, that will have, when we fold our arms in half to close them, that will have our toes facing the front and we'll be sewing them on the side of the body like that. Okay, so let's add our stuffing now. And what we wanna do is have it fairly firm on the bottom. Um, but you don't want to push the bottom out. So you want to keep your hand kind of flat so that the, the foot stays flat, but you're pushing out to the sides a bit. Um, careful not to overstuff. You don't want to open up your stitches so you see your stuffing. And then once you have the bottom stuffed how you feel you'd like it, you're going to put a little bit in here, in the top of the foot. What you want, ideally, is this to kind of look like a triangle. So I actually just shoved that more into the foot. I'm going to grab a little bit more to put in the middle. And you don't want to have any in the end. Because ideally, it's going to look like a triangle. Um, so I'm going to put just a touch more in the bottom or the top I guess. So see I have none. I'm only stuffed to about right here because we want that um, when we're doing the sides we want that to be able to kind of bend around and then when we're doing the the bottom legs we want the tummy to be able to come around here, but it to not flop back over. And then when you're happy with your stuffing amount, we are just going to close that up. So we're going to go in the next stitch on the one side and the last stitch on the other side. Make sure you're getting underneath both sides of those V loops. And then you're just going to single crochet five single crochets across. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Tie that off, give it a cut. So if this is your first leg, I am going to be putting a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and do the rest of the legs. And if you are done all four of them, just keep on watching and we will continue on to the next part. All right, now we're going to start on the head. And again, you can start any way you prefer. I will do my knot with the loop on the end like I'm going to chain. Insert my hook. Grab my yarn. Chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. That's just attaching our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop over top of the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, and then pull your tail to close that hole if you need to. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, and our last increase, eleven and twelve. Row three, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one increase, two and three, four increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase, 
15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eight, oops, eighteen, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are going to be doing four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row seven, we are going to be doing five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, 13 and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and an increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and an increase, 41 and 42. Rows 8 to 15 are going to be 42 single crochets all the way around. And that is 8 rows and I'm going to use my stitch counter to keep track of those. So 42 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Six, oops, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 8. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, so that was row 9, another row of 42 single crochets, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 10. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Another, whoopsie, I mean that was row 11. Now another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 12. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So that was row 13. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, whoopsie, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 14. Um, so this should be our last row. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 15. And now we're going to start our decreases. Um, feel free to do the invisible ones. I'm going to be doing regular ones. Um, so for row 16, we're going to do five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and a decrease. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease. Four, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease, 36. Row 17, we're going to be doing four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease, four, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 
26, 27, whoops, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 18, we are going to be doing three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, my goodness. And a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 19, we are going to be doing two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Okay, we're going to add the arms now, so make sure you have the ones where the toes are facing you and the string comes towards you. So they're gonna look like this, and they're gonna go on the sides of the body. Okay, so for row 20, we are going to do two single crochets, then we're gonna do five single crochets through the arm and the head, then we're gonna do four single crochets across the front, five single crochets through the arm and the head, and then we should have two single crochets left at the end of the row. So we're gonna begin with two single crochets. One, two. Now grab one of your arms. And remembering that this is the back, you wanna have your toes and your strings facing the front. And we're going to do five single crochets across through the arm and the head. So in the first stitch of the arm and the next stitch of the head. And make sure you're getting under both sides of each part. So that's one through the arm, through the head. That's two through the arm, through the head, that's three, 
through the arm, through the head. That's four. Through the arm, through the next stitch of the head, and that's five. Now we're gonna do four single crochets across and make sure you're going in the right stitches because it's really easy to go in the same one. One, two, three, four. Now grab your other arm and again, remember the back is over here, the front is on this side. You wanna have your strings and your toes facing the front. And again, we're gonna do five single, single crochets through the arm and the head. That one strings in my way, there we go. So one, again, through the arm, through the next stitch of the head. That's two, through the arm, through the head. That's three, through the arm, through the head, that's four, and through the arm and the head, that's five. And then we should have two left, one, two. row 21 we are going to do two single crochets one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. all right so one oops two and an increase three and four five, six, and an increase, seven, and eight. And make sure you leave these strings on the outside. We are gonna use them later. Nine, 10, and an increase, 11, and 12. 13, 14, and an increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20. Twenty-one. 22 and an increase 23 and 24. Row 22 we are just going to be doing 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, oops, and 24. Row 23, we are gonna do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, 
two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, nineteen and twenty, twenty-one, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. So 24, we are going to do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. This yarn is getting funny. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. All right, rows um, 25 to 30 are just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around, and that's six rows. And I'm going to use my row counter again. So we'll start 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Do you see that big chunk go through there? Something's happening. So that was row 25. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So that was row twenty-six. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 27. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So that was row twenty-eight. Um, another row of thirty-six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 29. So we have one row left. 36 single crochets. One, two, whoopsie. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 
So that was row 30. All right, row 31, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease, four, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 32, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16. 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20. Oops, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. All right, let's add the eyes and legs now and maybe put a little bit of stuffing in. So what we're gonna do is we wanna flatten it out so we can find the center of our head. And we are gonna start counting from our center loop where we began as row one and we're gonna go down between rows nine and 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right there below number nine in between nine and 10. And we're just gonna double check where our center is. And you can use the arms to kind of tell. Then just, I think I might actually be in center. So I'm just gonna put my pin right there. And you're going to grab your eyes and you're going to count over four of these holes. So one, two, three, four, and into that fourth one. And same for the other side. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
Now I'm going four because I'm probably going to use some thread to bring my eyes in. If you feel like they're too far apart, do three holes instead of four. And I think those are good for me, so I'm going to put my backs on. Oh, that one clicked really good. Get my other one. Make sure they haven't moved. Hmm. Really clicking today. And then I'm just going to show you how to decide where the legs go just in case we are not in the same spot. So we have 24 stitches all the way around here. So we want to have 12 on the front and 12 on the back. So what I do is when I fold it over, I just start counting from this one side and double check that I have 12 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is my 12th stitch and that is where we will start our first leg. I'll just put a little marker in there so you can see what I'm doing. It should be eight stitches, but just in case, I've only had one time where it didn't work out to the number it was supposed to. And let's see. So my next stitch will be there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So mine are lined up perfect. Then let's also add some stuffing because it is a little easier to do before we add the legs. So we want to get um, the head fairly firmly stuffed. So you're going to probably use quite a bit more stuffing than you think you'll need. Make sure as you're stuffing it that you're not stretching out these neck stitches where you decrease. That is my biggest problem all the time. Just kind of make sure it's going in there round and not lopsided. And every once in a while double check your eyes aren't being twisted on um, where the posts are. I'm going to put a little bit more in, I think. We only have a couple rows left. So you want to get it close to finished stuffing as you're going to want it. And that's fairly firm, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to put a tiny little bit in the body. And I'll add to that later. Alright. So let's get our hook back in. And for row 33, we're going to be doing eight single crochets unless you have to adjust yours um, five single crochets through the leg and the body two in the front five through the leg and the body and then we should have i believe four at the end all right so eight single crochets one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you should be where you are starting your first leg. And when you take your leg, make sure your toes are facing the body because he's upside down so when he flips the other way you want his toes 
facing up and you're going to go through the first stitch of the leg and the next stitch of the body so right there so just like we did the arms and we're going to do five single crochets across so that's once through the leg through the body that's twice through the leg through the body that's three times <laughs> strings through the leg and the next stitch of the body sorry my fingers are everywhere here that's four and through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's five and then flip these strings on the inside your tails so they're out of your way and you're going to do two single crochets across the front one two and then grab your other leg again make sure that the toes are facing the body and we're going to do five single crochets across through the leg and the next stitch of the body i wish i could show this better but it's just not working okay so one through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's two through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's three through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's four and through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's five again move that tail to the inside and then we should have four single crochets left one two three four and if you want just to keep them out of your way you can tie these little leg strings together but not tight because you don't want to affect the way they um, hang on the inside so just nice and loose just cut them if you want and then we'll start closing him up now. Row 34, we are going to be doing two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and you can do invisible decreases if you prefer and a decrease for three four five and a decrease for six seven eight and a decrease for nine ten eleven and a decrease for twelve thirteen 14 and a decrease for 15 
16, 17, and our last decrease for 18. Um, if you need to add any stuffing, we only have two rows left, so add it now. Actually, let's just take that out. Um, what you want to do is make sure um, he doesn't have to be too firm. He can be fairly soft, but you want to make sure that he's flat on the bottom and that he's coming out a little bit on the back side so that he won't fall over if he's a little top heavy. I think that's probably good enough. See, I have mine kind of bulging out there. It will make it a little trickier to close them up, but. All right, row 35, we are gonna do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. One. And a decrease for two. Three and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, And a decrease for eight. Nine. And a decrease for 10. Oops, I got some stuffing. 11 and our last decrease for 12. And then row 36, we're just gonna do a three decrease or six decreases, sorry. So one decrease. Two decrease, three decreases, four decreases. Five decreases. And our last one, six decreases. Then you'll just slip stitch into the next stitch to tie off. Just leave yourself enough of a tail to sew that hole closed on the bottom. I'm going to take out my stitch marker. Grab your darning needle. And then you're just going to weave in and out the top loops of your last row. Get back to where you started. 
I'm just going to pull that closed. Find a stitch nice and close. And then just tie one or two knots in the end there. And just thread that down in the center and out the back somewhere. And I like to give it a good pull to get that knot you just made on the other side or inside. And then let's deal with these arm strings now too. So thread one onto your needle. And what you're going to do is right where you at ended attaching that arm, you're going to go down into that same stitch. And you're going to bring your needle out the back in the center somewhere around the neck. And then do the same thing with the other arm string. So right in that last stitch where your arm is attached and then out back in the same stitch you just came out of with your other string. Then you're going to give it one tie. Keep track of those ends. I like to wrap them around the neck and then you're going to flip him over. And now you're going to tie that tight and bring these arms in. So if you just watch, it'll pull those knots in and bring the, but be careful not to um, break your yarn. Sometimes the one knot doesn't seem to want to go in lately. So when you're happy with how tight that is, flip it back over and secure that knot a little better once or twice. You don't have to do this part. I find that it, um, the arms don't seem as wobbly or loose. Now you're going to re-thread those, both those strings on. And then you're just going to thread them back in the same hole you came out of and back somewhere out the body. Give them a trim. And now we'll move on to all the extra little parts. All right, we're going to start with the ears and you can do it any way you prefer. Same as always, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be making my knot with the loop on the end. Insert my hook. Grab my yarn. Chain one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch. That's just attaching our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, make sure you're going over your tail, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six single crochets all the way around. All right, so one, two, three, Four, five, and 
long six and make sure it's um, the little point is starting to point towards you or again you're going to be making it inside out. Row three, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. I know this is piddly, just take your time. And our last increase, 11 and 12. It gets easier from here on out, I promise. Row four, we are gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, Increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Rows five and six are just gonna be 18 single crochets all the way around, and I'm gonna do those consecutively, so 18 times 2 is 36, and I'll just flip my marker when I hit my first set of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 and flipping my marker but I'm going to keep on counting 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And row seven, we are going to do nine decreases for a total of nine. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, 
four decreases, five decreases, six decreases, seven decreases, eight decreases, and nine decreases. All right, now we're gonna fold this in half and we need to do two single crochets through all the, these stitches. So I wanna get my last stitch on the very end and I'm gonna go straight down as close as I can through those two stitches on both sides. And then I wanna come over here and go through both sides on this side. So kinda like that. Do your single crochet through both sides. And then we need to do that one more time in this pinched end. So you wanna kinda go down and grab and then come back out and hopefully you have all four pieces. Because that is what we're going to be using to attach the ears. And then tie it off and leave enough of a thread to um, sew that on. So it should look like this. I think I'm just going to repost this same little section um, next. So just keep on watching to do your second ear. All right, we're going to start with the ears and you can do it any way you prefer. Same as always, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be making my knot with the loop on the end. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch. That's just attaching our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are gonna do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, make sure you're going over your tail. Three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six single crochets all the way around. All right, so one, two, Three, four, five, and six. And make sure it's um, the little point is starting to point towards you, or again, you're going to be making it inside out. Row three, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and 10, I know this is piddly, just take your time. And our last increase, 11 and 12. It gets easier from here on out, I promise. 
row four, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Rows five and six are just gonna be 18 single crochets all the way around. And I'm gonna do those consecutively so 18 times 2 is 36, and I'll just flip my marker when I hit my first set of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18 I'm flipping my marker but I'm going to keep on counting 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And row seven, we are going to do nine decreases for a total of nine. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, five decreases. Six decreases, seven decreases, eight decreases, and nine decreases. All right, now we're going to fold this in half and we need to do two single crochets through all the, these stitches. So I want to get my last stitch on the very end and I'm going to go straight down as close as I can through those two stitches on both sides and then I want to come over here and go through both sides on this side. So kind of like that. Do your single crochet through both sides. And then we need to do that one more time in this pinched end. So you want to kind of go down and grab and then come back out. And hopefully you have all 
four pieces because that is what we're going to be using to attach the ears and then tie it off and leave enough of a thread to um, sew that on. So it should look like this. All right, now we are going to do the muzzle and this time you will have to do the knot with the loop on the end. So you just wrap it around your finger like you're tying a knot and then you pull that little loop out. Insert your hook. And now we're gonna be chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be starting in the second chain from the hook. So this loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. This is your first stitch right here. And this is your second stitch where we'll be going. And we're going to start by putting one single crochet in that second stitch, which will be our end now. And then we're going to do four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to be going in this end, three single crochets while we pivot around to the other side of the chain. So one, and then we're going to pivot a little bit so we're kind of on the top. Make sure that knot isn't in there. Two, and pivot all the way around so we're now on the back side of our chain. Three. Now we're going to do four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, four, and two single crochets in this end. One, two. So it should look like this. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're gonna do one increase in the first stitch, which will be our end. Then we're gonna do four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna do three increases around this end. So one increase. Two increases, and three increases. Now we're going to do four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, Four. And now we're going to do two increases on this end. So one increase and two increases. Row three, we're going to start with one single crochet and one increase for this end. One single crochet, one increase. We're going to do our four single crochets across. One, two, three, four. And then on this end, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, three times all the way around this end. So one single crochet 
one increase. That's once. Again, one single crochet, one increase. That's twice. And again, one single crochet, one increase. That's three times. Now we're going to do our four single crochets across. One, two, whoops, two, three, four. And now we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, two times on this end. So one single crochet, one increase, that's once, one single crochet, one increase, and that's twice. Row four, we're going to start with two single crochets and an in increase on this end. So one, two, and an increase. Now we're going to do our four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do two single crochets, one increase, three times around this end. So one, two, and an increase. That's once, again, one, two, and an increase. That's twice, again, one, two, and an increase. That's three times. So now we're going to do our four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to do one single cro or sorry, two single crochets, one increase, two times around this end. So one, two, and an increase. That's once, and again, once, or sorry, one, two, and an increase, and that'll be twice. I think it's time to take a break. <laughs> All right, row five, we're going to do the little nostrils. Um, so we're going to start with 18 single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're going to do the nostril, which is the same as when we did the toes, only I'll be doing these ones five times instead of four. So remember, yarn over in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn again, and go through the first two loops. And we'll do that five times. So that's once, twice, three times, four times, and five times. You should have six loops on your hook and then grab your yarn and pull through all six loops. 
And then we are going to do seven single crochets across. Make sure you're going in that next stitch. Push your little nostril out if you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to do our other nostril on this side. So that's double crochet cluster of five. So one time, two times, three times, four times, and five times. And then you'll have six loops and you're going to go through all six loops. Push that out if you need to. And we should have five single crochet, yeah, single crochets to finish off this round. One, two, three, four, five. So you have, should have something that's starting to look a little like this. Row six, we are going to start off again with 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're going to do one decrease. Oopsie. So right behind that nostril. And now we're going to do six single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and then we're going to put a decrease behind this nostril. So one decrease. And then we should have four single crochets at the end. One, two, three, four. And row seven, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 25. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 17, 18, 19, 
and a decrease for 20. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and a decrease for twenty five. And then we can remove our stitch marker if we want, and we are going to just slip stitch and tie off in that next stitch. Leave yourself enough of a tail to sew that on. Oopsie. All right, now we are going to pin this little piece on. So we want to grab a little bit of stuffing and fill that up. And we want to put it about one row below the eyes. So kind of match the nostrils up so they're even with under the eyes. Grab your pins. And I'm just going to try and find the center of the muzzle and the center of the face and I'm just gonna oh yeah one more down I actually have not done put this on anywhere yet I've only had it pinned so I have no idea how it's going to turn out and I'm just gonna pin along that same row nice and straight and notice I'm holding this um, part of his face really really tight till I get this how I want it I'll probably have to add some more stuffing in after all right I got my three on the top now I'm just gonna let this bottom part sit where it sits naturally and I'm gonna put my pin in there it's almost exactly Maybe a row up from where the neck line is. And I'm going to put my three pins on that side. And then I'm going to start putting some on the sides. And remember we decreased, so we don't want to pull out our... Um, don't want to pull it out too much because we want it to kind of go underneath a bit just kind of keep checking that it's even and that this is straight right here so once you got your first few pins in you can just start adding some extras the more pins you use the less likely it is that it's going to move on you down in the bottom here don't worry too much about how much stuffing stuffings in there you can always add a little bit more to it at the end and then once you are happy with it just double check that up just a bit right there just so it matches this side a little better all right I think that's good so thread your needle And to begin, 
you're going to go under where you made that first knot. Let's take that pin out so you can see it. So there's where you tied off. I want to go underneath there and come up kind of underneath the mouth or the muzzle, but I'm not going in it yet. I just want to get that secured and maybe try and pull that knot in if I can. And then I'm going to go up that first stitch. I'm going to go down the next stitch, around a row and out, staying underneath the muzzle the whole time. Sorry, these arms are really going to in the way for this, I think. And then up the next stitch. Make sure you're getting through both loops and you're not pulling your mouth around too much. Then you're going to go back down. Around a stitch and up. And then up the next stitch. So you're just going to keep going around like that. Up and down, around a row or a stitch. Making sure and double checking that it's not moving on you. I guess while I'm doing this, I'm just going to mention, I always forget lately to let you all know, if you go down and check down in the description, sometimes I have um, some links that kind of relate to the projects that we're doing. And I always have um, links to like my... Um, Facebook craft page so if you want to go over there and share something with me that you've made you can go to my page um, you can't for some reason post right on the page but you can go into a comment and leave a photo or I also have a pinned post at the top that says YouTube share and you can go into there. You have to click on it first. You don't have to join anything. You can go right in there and post whatever you want. I do also have TikTok and Instagram, but the only thing I do on there is um, load little snippets of videos. I don't really check anything. So if you do post something there, odds are I probably won't see it. But I will definitely see it on my Facebook page because I check there quite often throughout the day. Alright, when you get to the top here, make sure all your stitches now go in that same line. So, I haven't pinned one row down. Oh, I really want to go one row up. So just stay in this one row of stitches as you go. And that will keep your nose straight. You can try going right into the next stitch, but I find that's a good way for it to move on you accidentally. So I just do it this way all the time. 
And I'm going to have to add some stuffing, so i got to keep that in mind as I'm getting closer to the end here. So yeah, I'm going to sneak one in. Oh no, that's one, two. No. There, snuck one in. If you do that, make sure you are around a stitch underneath. All right, I'm running out of room here, so I think I better add a little bit of stuffing. It's kind of a bad place to do it, but... I can tell there's not much in there as I've been going around. Just make sure you're not loosening any of your stitches as you're doing that. And you're not losing the shape, so let's see. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, maybe just a tad more. Right there. Alright, so that's good enough. Now I'm just going to get towards the closing here. So I'm almost at my last stitch. And when I do get to my last stitch, I go down that's our tie off knot right there. And I go past it once. Just in case when I first started I didn't get that nice and tight. And then I'm going to go over it and back and down and out. Hopefully, catch a stitch. There we go. Nope. Not catching a stitch. There we go. Nope. <laughs> there we go. And then now I want to come back and try and find a stitch that I sewed. So right there I'm grabbing that stitch and that's where I'm going to tie my knot on. So once or twice. Nice and tight there. And then we're going to try and get that down and under. And pull that through so we don't see that knot. There. Okay, cut that off. Alright, I'm going to do the edge a little bit different than I usually do. So I want to go between rows 5 and 6. So we're going to start counting at our center loop here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I want them about right here, even with um, the top of our head and about halfway to our arm. So I'm going to put a little pin in there to mark that. And then I'm just going to mark the other side temporarily. One, two, three, four, five. So right there in five and six. You can kind of have a look and see how you did. This one could actually go back one, I think. One, two, three, four, five, between five and six. All right. So thread one of your ears on, and what we're going to do is go down and around two stitches. So we're going to go on this side of our pin, and then the other side of our pin through the holes, and then our pin is in that middle hole. So I'm, I'm kind of going around one hole, I guess. 
And then once we have that on and the front of the ear is facing us, I'm just going to position it kind of open and flat on the head. And I'm going to go up one of the outside stitches. Come back in the same um, same whole row and I'm going to come up and I'm going to go through one of the inside ear stitches. So right up here, here. And what that's going to do is kind of keep the ear standing up and open a bit. You might have to go around a couple of times. However you feel makes it look the best. That might be good enough. Maybe one more. I don't really want to go up again, but I could. You can always go up another row if you want. I think I'm just going to come backwards and do it one more time on the bottom. So I'm just going kind of a, up and down between that one row that we started on. And once you're happy, whoopsie, with the position, I'm just going to come back here and tie it somewhere, nice and close to the head. Just pick a stitch. Tie a knot. And then come as close to the ear as you can where you tied that knot. And then come out the back of the head kind of even with where your ear is. Now we got to do the exact same thing on the other side. So thread your needle. And remember we came from the back side, so we want to go one row back from where my pin, or one stitch from where my pin is, and then one stitch ahead of where my pin is. So we've got that one hole between. And we're going to come up on this side now. Kind of check that you're even. Come back down the row. I already forget what I did, but let's just try and keep it as close as we can. So now we're going to go on the bottom side of the ear. I think that's looking okay. And then I did do that again. So I'm going to go around one more time. On the bottom, and then I'm going to do it on the top again. And actually, we ended on the bottom, didn't we? That will make a difference when we pull our strings. Might have to redo this ear. But what we want to do is end kind of closer to the bottom. So both our strings. So I'm just going in and out now. <laughs> there we go. That's good enough. And then I'm just going to catch a stitch like before, tie my knot. Bring it down through the head, nice and close to the ear and out where our other string is. Now we're going to give that one tie. And if you want, we can do what we did with the arms. I don't know if you need to. 
you can just give them a pull and it will bring the ears and the head in a bit. Give it a bit of a different shape. Uh, I'm going to be doing this so that will be okay. If I wasn't pushing the eyes in, I don't think I would bring the, head, the ears in like I just did. And then tie that tighter to secure it. Get your threads back on your needle. Oh, I can tell that's not going to work already. I did get a tip about doing something like this and then trying to put them on. I've yet to have it really work for me. Alright, let's try it now. And I still gotta throw my nail in there. Kinda works. Probably my thread is well used here. It probably doesn't help. What's happened? There we go. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have left them open. I don't know. Cream that off, and then we need to search for a chunk of gray, and I think I'm just going to use that one that I just cut off. And we'll just go around his eyes now. So I'm just going to start somewhere in the middle, right close to the same. Well, right now I'm in the same stitch we put our eyes in. And you can go around the eye if you want. I'm going to do it um, not around the eye just in case not everyone can get under their eye. So leave some thread for tying. So I just came up in that same row right in front of the eye and I'm just going to come back right under the row in kind of a 45 degree across. And then I got to match that on the other side. So I'm going to come right about here on the other eye. And then matching this one right here. And I'm going to come out where I started. Now, I only do this once. You can do it a few more times if you like. Make it more secure. So once you've got your two um, pieces tied, then you're just going to kind of squish your eyes together and pull at the same time. So however you feel you want them. Careful not to um, break your thread. It's a little tight. It will relax a little bit, I think, over time. Get your thread back on your needle. And then you're just going to go back in that same hole where you tied it and out the back. Give that a good pull to hide that knot and then lift that so that you can't see that hole there. Oh, that looks okay, I think. I'll give that a cut. Uh, should we give him some eyebrows, maybe? He's quite a bit plainer than the other ones I've been doing. I think he probably should have some eyebrows. So I'm just grabbing some scrap black yarn from something. And I'm going to be doing um, the points of the eyebrows first. So I'm going to come up from the inside of the eye one, two rows. Go in, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. One. Is that two there? Or two there? Let's, 
I always have trouble matching the other side of the eye for some reason. One looks good and the other one doesn't. Let's just see. So I'm going to have the same amount of thread on each side. So now that I have my two points, I can just kind of see where I want my eyebrows to go. I think I'm going to go like that. So I got to get one end on. And I'm going to go right along the top of the eye row one stitch back. So I, there's a stitch and then one more stitch. Then I just bring that up to the middle so that I can pull that out later. Now I'm going to match this side. So I'm going to thread my other side. And it should be right there, one stitch over. My one stitch is kind of right on there, but I think this is the most even. Then you bring that up the middle where your other end is. Now you don't want to pull this too tight. If you are happy with them, I think so, then you can give it a tie. Not too tight. And then we'll just put these ends out the back. So go in that same stitch and then out the back somewhere. And don't pull on these any more than you have to, very gently. Or you're going to have to go back and fix them a little bit. So pull that knot through. Cut your ends. Hide the black. How we look in little hippo. Not too bad. Can't decide if it needs a little bit extra. So I'm just going to let you see what it looks like if you want to put a little bow on. This is the same bow, bow for the gingerbread man, the kupikachi, I don't know, probably a few other ones. Um, there will be a link in the description so you can go um, and follow that if you want to do a bow. I apologize, it's an old one. It's not quite as good, but it will get you the bow. So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like my videos, to hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. As well, if you want to like or share or leave me a comment, those are always appreciated. And of course, like always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.